Hi, I'm Mike Stanton from Build America Mutual here on Asset TV with Grant Dewey, BAM's Head of Municipal Capital Markets, to talk about the outlook for municipal bond investing in the rest of 2023. Grant, it was a really tough 2022 for municipal bond investors with rising yields and falling prices. But on the flip side, for people entering the market now, yields are at their highest levels in probably five or more years. As we close out the first quarter, what would you say about the market's performance so far? Well, actually, the um, you know th there's been a lot of volatility in the first quarter. Uh, last year was a lot of volatility. It was all on the downside, though. So uh, we've had, you know, in the first quarter, January was a was a very very strong uh, month for muties. Uh, February gave a lot back. A lot of the economic data was uh, coming out, you know, a lot hotter, a lot stronger than expected. Uh, the Fed was doing their thing, 75 basis points uh, at a time. And then March was uh, also a, a um, you know, a, uh, a little bit of a negative month until recently with the banking crisis. And we saw a pretty significant rate rally. But uh, generally, you know, we've had more volatility. Uh, Muni performance year to date is actually up about a percent and a half. So uh, hung in there well. And even with the turnaround, BAM's activity in the insured market has been about the same uh, as what we saw last year, uh, penetration, about 8%, just under 8% of all transactions have come insured, and a large number of AA rated transactions are getting insurance, just showing that you know, since the COVID pandemic, investors are continuing to look for the security that bond insurance uh, provides them. Um, you mentioned quickly the, the outlook and the fact that in March, all the markets across the globe were talking about banking instability after the failures of Silicon Valley Bank and, and Signature Bank. How have those... Uh, concerns impacted the muni market? I mean, not much, really, to tell you the truth. As I mentioned, uh, we saw a pretty significant rate rally. A lot of it was focused on the shorter uh, end of the curve um, with the bank um, problems. And that's really what uh, caused that was um, uh, cost of capital, uh, inflation, cost of capital rose on the short end. They had long dated assets. And so there was a net um, you know, negative uh, interest margin. And uh, that was a a relatively small manageable problem until they lost their, uh, you know, low cost deposits. And, and uh, so, uh, but anyway, I would say that, um, you know, that's had uh, as long as, you know, there isn't, uh, you know, additional contagion it does seem to be relatively uh, contained. Uh, uh, Chair, uh, Fed Chair Powell, uh, in his remarks yesterday, um, you know, he's worried about the economic impact, uh, but he's not worried about uh, additional failures and, and bank contagion. So, so they're really kind of, you know, to hone in on the muni market, there are really two issues uh, that people are, are, are thinking about, right? You know, the, the risk of recession, and then there's some issues about uh, demand and the technicals in the market. How does that play out? I look at it as twofold. One is, you know, from a rate standpoint, I think the Fed has started to pivot as long as we don't see, uh, you know, the March numbers, they come out in a few weeks, uh, unemployment, CPI, PPI, uh, will be the numbers the market's looking at. As long as those don't come in uh, too kind of hot, uh, then I think that the Fed pivot will continue, and I think rates will kind of stabilize a little bit. The other, you know, from a credit standpoint, I think you could see um, uh, you could see a, a recession kind of move forward, and some of the credit pressures that we uh, that that we were thinking, you know, we might see in late 23, early 24, those might be pushed forward a little bit given the uh, economic softness. And for viewers who are interested in a, a deeper dive into municipal credit, uh, we could recommend that they uh, take a look at the podcast, The Public Money Pod from the University of Chicago's Harris School of Public Policy, featured BAM's Chief Credit Officer, Suzanne Finnegan, this week. And she took a much deeper dive into how a potential recession could impact the real estate market, which would then in turn impact property taxes, could impact social uh, sales taxes. So a lot of spillover into mini credit. And she did a great job of talking about the details of how that works in the public money pod. Um, so, Grant, uh, we're recording this the day after the FOMC raised rates 25 basis points at its March meeting. You started to, to talk in this direction. What's the market expecting next? I think, um, you know, uh, Fed Chair Powell made it um, pretty clear that inflation remains like the primary concern. He, he, uh, he also said that, uh, you know, he continues to see further rate increases. As I said, we'll see more economic numbers here in, in two weeks uh, that, that may uh, help there. But you know, as long as um, you know, he did not feel that the banking problems would mushroom into anything larger. So I think that you know, um, more Fed tightening might be in store. That was a, a pretty big disconnect with what with where the market was uh, um, 
if you look at where rates are, the two year uh, is you know uh, lower by about 110 basis points from just a few weeks ago. They were expecting a 50 basis point cut uh, at the FOMC meeting yesterday. It ended up being 25. Some people thought it would be uh, that uh, that they would pause. So uh, there's been a a uh, pretty big change in the market perception, and uh, there's actually a pretty big school of uh, of thought that uh, you may see actually great cuts uh, later this year. So that would be quite a uh, quite a change. So to wrap it all up, um, as as you're looking at municipal credit conditions and talking to people uh, across the wall, wall Street in terms of investors, um, what are people watching for? What are they thinking? I think that um, you know we. Um, I'm on the secondary desk, so we feel a lot of uh, investor inquiry uh, for bond insurance. I think that you know, generally credit spreads have been you know, very, very resilient, very um, uh, kind of very um, stable across most sectors. We are seeing, you know, in healthcare is one area where uh, we've seen a little bit more inquiry, I think, as some of the federal money uh, starts to roll off from the COVID-related uh, aid. Um, and I think also uh, there are, you know, relatively high labor costs that um, that some of the smaller systems have been dealing with. So um, it really is. And that's something that we talk a lot of, uh, yeah. every day internally at BAM. Uh, our pension actuary, Les Richmond, is, is really on top of that, uh, looking forward to how some of the labor market issues uh, are also impacting pensions. So it's not just the current costs, but also the long term costs of pensions can be impact impacted. And you know, he's published some great articles on BAM's website about that. I think we feel that, you know, uh, we've seen a lot of rating upgrades. You know, in 2022, there was a three to one uh, ratio of upgrades to downgrades. Uh, that's continued. That's skewed positive so far this year. So, um, you know, uh, I think that rating changes are a little bit of a lagging uh, indicator. You've seen typically we'll see credits like Illinois, New Jersey, where they were having some uh, issues. I think their houses are much more in order. Uh, those credits have been tightening since the beginning of last year. Uh, the rating changes really didn't occur until Q4 uh, and the first quarter of this year. So um, I think that, you know, if um, I think there are some kind of strategists that think the uh, credit cycle um, uh, has peaked. And uh, but I think that, uh, you know, generally the state and local governments are in very good shape going into this. So, you know, to sum it up, so far this year, very different from last year, much better news for uh, municipal bond investors. But uh, looking ahead, still a lot of reasons uh, to, to watch the market carefully and, and to expect volatility. And so uh, I'm sure we'll yeah. be back here on Asset TV uh, later in the year to uh, talk more about it. I probably should just throw one thing in there in terms of municipal performance. So really, the technicals continue to be you know, very favorable for munis. The, uh, uh, you continue to see pretty, um, pretty large, uh, you know, Redemptions, maturities, uh, uh, bond calls. You had um, so far this year supplies about 63 billion, which is down 25% uh, for the same period last year. And I think that's mostly because uh, you know refunding volume, obviously with the higher rates, uh, is making up you know only 19% uh, of total volume. So I think as rates um, sort of uh, nudge uh, down again as we move through 2023, we should see rebound in, in uh, supply. Great, well, thanks for sharing your insights, Grant. Have a Thank great day.